वेलकम बैक टू सॉलिड वर्क एन एन सी ट्विटर यूट्यूब चैनल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन इन दिस सॉलिड वर्क इज वन ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस चेन पार्ट और चेन कंपोनेंट एंड वी विल लर्न द न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ द सॉलिड वर्क सो वॉच द कम्प्लीट वीडियो लेट स्टार्ट सिंपली गो टू फ्रंट पेन गो टू स्केच सेलेक्ट द सेंटर पॉइंट स्ट्रेट स्लॉट फ्राम हेयर एंड मेक द स्लॉट लाइक दिस now we will give the dimension so we are going to give the dimension of 100 mm and the dimension of these two lines will be 50 mm so our first sketch is ready for the chain component go to exit sketch now we will select the top plane which is perpendicular to this sketch so again go to sketch from here select normal to command and now we will select the straight slot so now simply make the straight slot like this and give it the dimension of 100 mm again again give it the dimension of 50 mm so now you can see that our um, chain component part or sketch are ready now we will go to exit sketch simply go to feature select sweat boss base so in the sweat boss base there are two features like sketch profile and circular profile sketch profile mean that you have to make the reference plane and the sketch which will be swept along this path so for circular profile you just have to select the path and the circle will automatically swept on this path so we have give the diameter of 10 mm to this circle you can increase or decrease the diameter according to your geometric condition select okay from here and now we will again go to set boss base and select circular profile for this sketch select okay so now from here you can see that we have two bodies now we have to pattern these two bodies simply go to linear pattern command and select the direction along which you are going to pattern these two bodies and from here enable bodies select these two bodies like this and from here give the instances of 10 mm and the distance of 160 mm so if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance accordingly like this so now simply go to okay so now our chain pattern is ready now what we are going to use is the flex command so flex is the command basically most people don't use it because they don't know about this command so this command is so much powerful if you want to make your part bend twist or taper or stretching this uh, command can be used easily so now we will simply select the bodies which on which we are going to use the flex command so select all these bodies like this so once your two uh, bodies have been selected you can see that there are two planes trim planes one is the green trim plane and another one is the trim plane two so basically this is our bend axis because we are going to use the bending command so select hard edges from here and increase the accuracy of the flex so now simply give it the angle and you can see that our chain is bended along this axis so this is a triad known as also known as a coordinate system so you can increase or decrease the size of your bending or readjust the bended axis so select okay from here so now you can see that our part is bended so after making the flex command we are going to use the circular pattern select circular pattern from here and select this axis to enable this axis go to this hide or show items and select the view temporary axis from here and now what we are going to do is we are going to enable the bodies and select the bodies you want to pattern like this
So now you can see that our circular pattern is ready, select OK from here. So now you can see that our chain pattern is ready. So if you want to adjust the a part or component like this. So if you want to move this part because it is not entering the loop. So we will simply go to the direct editing, select move or copy the bodies from here, select this part and unselect the copy from here and move this part into this loop like this. So basically this tutorial is just for the learning purposes. If you uh, found any mistake in this tutorial, just ignore it and understand the concept of these features. So for this part we are go again going to drag the component like this. So select OK from here. And now you can see that our chain components are ready. So this was an advanced tutorial on making the chains and we have learned about the flex command and other different features like direct editing. So thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos.